Yo, what's up guys? Did you guys forget about me? Well, I'm back. I'm about to do four videos for you guys today. Um, three reviews and a giant unboxing. Uh, basically, all the new stuff I've picked up here recently. Uh, there's probably 11 bottles all together. Um, got an Arofa. I uh, got a Gucci that's been discontinued I picked up. Quite a few things. I think you guys are really going to like it. But first video I'm going to do is going to be a review of what I've called my sleeper winter fragrance. I've told a couple guys about it that I spoke with on the phone, uh, Guinea being one of them. So a few of you guys know about it. Uh, Brad semi-reviewed it. And what I got for you guys is, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Two's in heaven. This is a 1.7. I also have the 3.4 ounce bottle. I've actually got two of those on accident somehow. But anyway, let's break it down and get into it. There's your box. I actually opened the box from the bottom because there's a sticker on the top and I just didn't want to break the seal. Real cool bottle. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. It's a bear with a pirate patch and angel wings and it says two's in heaven him and it's actually engraved down into the bottle um the top of the bottle has got let's see if i can get it for you it's the same bear logo with the cross bones on the bottom guys i'm sorry i've been sick so bear with me um inside the, there are four magnets see those so magnetic top and there's your bottom my lighting in this room sucks, y'all, so I do apologize. Um, anyway, so the notes on this bad boy, I've got to find them again. I had a real hard time finding these. Your top notes in this are lost again. All right, mandarin, pineapple, and pimento. Your middle notes or your heart are cardamom and violent leaves. And your base notes are patchouli and chili pepper. And I know that sounds kind of weird and off the wall, but believe me when I say this, I don't know if it's the chili pepper or what that brings me to this. This stuff is, in Dan's word, flipping awesome. Um, I was sitting here looking just now at some of the comments left on twos. And a lot of people are comparing it to the same thing I said when I first smelled this. It's like a darker version of One Million. Um, it's got it's just as sweet as One Million, and it's just as fruity. But where One Million is a fresh fruit, this is like a very very ripe, rich, dark fruit. Uh, great great smell in the wintertime, but you can even pull this off in the summer on a cool night. Um, not really like a date fragrance or anything, but it's an awesome clubbing scent. Uh, really hard to go wrong on that. All right, now, when I first put this on, a little spray here. Oh, man. I love this. When I first put this on, I immediately get the dark fruit. It's, it's almost like a fermented pineapple. Actually, that's exactly what it is. It's like a fermented pineapple. If you were trying to make liquor out of pineapples, that's your top nose. Now, after you've had this on for about an hour to an hour and a half, the pineapple starts to calm down. You really skip most of the mid notes. The cardamom is in the background. The violet leaves are there a little bit from top to bottom, but very, very little. Uh, as it calms down, you really get that nice patchouli. And uh, that, that chili pepper comes out. Now, the chili pepper keeps it spicy. It's like a, like a very, I don't know, it would almost be like an exotic fruit. Because it, it's spicy, but yet it's fruity. And when they combine, it just makes such a dark, almost romantic smell that's, I've never smelled anything like this. Um, bottles like this, you know, kind of uh it's kind of in between i'm gonna say one million and diesel's bottle of uh only the brave the one with the fist it's it's if you took both of those and slammed them together that's kind of what you would get is this right here now longevity on this uh longevity i usually get at least eight hours 
Um, I mean, I've had upwards of 12. So longevity is really good. Um, the silage on this, believe me, people are going to know that you've been there. If you put this on, got out the car, come back 30 minutes later, your car is still going to have a trail of this because I've had it happen to me. Um, this bottle here actually stays in the car. That's why I've got the 1.7 of it. I like this so much, I keep one in the house and one in the car. Um, projection, it's it's not a monster. When you first put it on, it, it can be loud. But, it, you know, just like 1 million, it calms down a little bit. But it's, it's definitely strong enough for clubbing. Um, if you put this on an hour before you went to class, I would recommend it that way. Don't just, you know, get out your car at school and spray it on and then take off in the class. You're, you're going to smother people. So don't want to go that route. Now, prices on this, um, the one, all right, the only store that I've seen sells this is Dillard's. Um, it's a European oil-based fragrance. And just like the Mandarina Duck, Dillard's is the places that I've seen those. So it's, it's a very, very, very quality fragrance. Um, now back to pricing. The seven run you fifty four dollars in the store. Um, the hundred mil three point four will run seventy three dollars, seventy one dollars in Dillard's. Now you can find these online a lot cheaper. You can find this one for about thirty, and you can find the hundred mil for about forty two dollars. Um, take with shipping. So all in all, this has been my sleeper fragrance for the. I haven't told a whole lot of people about it. I don't want it getting real, real popular. Um, we're hitting out on it that everybody's going to be wearing this and all bottles to the side. So for rice, definitely go check this out. You guys have a great holiday. Um, I'm going to enjoy being back. Like I said, I've got the unboxing coming. I've got three other reviews, two reviews, and a giveaway. So actually, guys, I've got five total videos I'm going to shoot for you all today and get these uploaded as quick as possible. Um, the guys I spoke with, I haven't answered your questions. I apologize. Um, people that I have talked to know I've been out of town. I've been real busy. I've been real sick for the past about month and a half. So I'm back now. I'm working on getting a little better. You said I didn't dress still in a sweatshirt. But, um, so, I'll see you guys in the next video shot. Peace.